Okay, so uh, the birthday little birthday surprise that I was going to try today didn't work, uh-huh. but there's more. There's more to it because in our newsletter you'll read about this fellow that we were uh, trying to reach on the phone. Um, uh, Harry Simpson has been a Martini in the Morning dot com listener. I'm going to cry. I can already tell you I feel God. it. Kind of. Anyway, <laughs> Harry has been a Martini in the Morning dot com listener for um, for a long time, and it was, it's interesting it, it, because this happens a lot. His son, John, who's a little younger than me, I think John just turned 50 recently. Anyway, uh, Harry's son, John, discovered Martini in the Morning. John lives in uh, Colleyville, Texas, not, uh, just outside of Dallas, and uh, in the mid-cities, as it's called. And uh, John Simpson discovered us, and then the, him and the guys in his office had been listening. And so John int- introduced us to his dad. John's dad, Harry, was a World War II aviator, was in the Air Force, and and um, so anyway, uh, John introduced his dad, and as, over time, Harry became a big uh, supporter of Martini in the Morning, and he he uh, not only has he been very kind and been part of our financial support, God love him, um, but Harry also. Harry knows that this has been a little bit of a struggle. Harry is a man of great insight, and he 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 knows people, and he he watches on Martini Vision, and he sees me beating my head against the wall. Now he doesn't understand part of that's you, but no way. But what he does know is that it has been a bit of a struggle. So Harry Simpson uh, sends every now and then he'll see a pained look on my face, and he'll send me an encouraging note. And often he'll send me a, a, a scripture from the Bible or just something that he knows will lift my spirit. And Harry, somehow, watching from his computer in Sun City Center, Florida, Harry manages to send just the right message right when I need it. I'm telling you, this man, he's pretty amazing. Anyway, Harry, our friend Harry Simpson, turned 90 yesterday. And he has been a good friend and a and a real blessing to what we're all trying to do here. And we're just grateful to have him around. I'd, hopefully, we're going to get a recording of this. We'll send it to him since I blew I it. I hope and, he calls back. I do, too. Uh, you know, it's funny. I've never spoken to Harry on the phone. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, you know I don't talk on the phone much because I, I, I the hardest thing on my vocal cords when I'm on the air seven hours a day and I'm not even supposed to be on four hours a day. I'm partially disabled. We know that. I know that. Well, you're, you're <laughs> not like your mental disability. I'm talking about my vocal cords. Is that correct? Uh-huh. So anyway, long story short, Harry Simpson, happy birthday. Happy we birthday, are, Harry. We are so uh, blessed to have you in our family and part of our community here at martiniinamorning.com. And uh, just sorry I missed you on the phone, Doug, on it. Uh, Harry has a favorite song. It's actually one of my favorite songs as well. And uh, I hope he got his birthday present that we sent him. We, I think we, we sent we sent him a birthday present. the Paul McCartney album because oh, as, as much sure as he, he likes the old uh, the old original Frank Sinatra version of Always, um, I know he likes as I do the new Paul McCartney version from Kisses on the Bottom. So we sent him a copy of the the uh, the album. So we're gonna play that next, and I'll be back at noon Pacific with the two Martini Lunch. But the music rolls on at martiniinthemorning.com, the greatest songs ever written online around the clock and around the world. Paul Gilson listening to Martini in the Morning in Kyle, Texas, where it's sunny and 73, partly cloudy 82 this afternoon, partly cloudy 81 tomorrow. Uh, Marsha, and I didn't get her last name. We'll just call her. We've got we, we've got one Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Now we've got two Marsha, Marsha, Marshas. Marsha is in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Scattered clouds, 44 degrees, partly cloudy, 52 this afternoon, partly cloudy, 63 tomorrow. Here in Studio City, California, where we celebrate Harry Simpson's 90th birthday. Most he said, uh, he said at Facebook uh, yesterday. He said, uh, thank people for their their greetings and so on. And he said, well, I guess the golden years begin now. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Marion's already into the dark ages. Uh, it's Martini in the Morning dot com. Paul McCartney coming up just around the corner with a song for. Mr. Simpson. Martini in the morning.com from the CD Kisses on the Bottom. Sir Paul McCartney. It's Martini in the morning.com. Well, we were somehow calling. So some somebody else named H. Simpson in Sun City Center, Florida, got a long, rambling, because that's what they do, birthday message. And it wasn't, unfortunately, our friend Harry Simpson. And I know that because, uh, Harry, are you there? Yeah. Good morning, young man. How are you? Oh, great, Brad. 
Harry, we're live on we're live on the air on martiniinthemorning.com. I just wanted uh, I started to call you yesterday, uh, although it would have been the wrong number. Uh, but anyway, we wanted to tell you happy uh, happy 90th birthday from all your friends at martiniinthemorning.com. Oh, that's wonderful. So, uh, any any special plans? Anything big going on there in Sun City Center, Florida? Well, not today. I was taken out to dinner yesterday, but my family is coming in this weekend. Some of them uh, know that I know about it, and some of them don't. But, uh, <laughs> so but, you, you, you'll let it be a surprise for those who want it to be a surprise, right? I will. I've been waiting 90 years for this. Absolutely. I, and I love your line on Facebook yesterday that uh, now the golden years will, be, will begin, because uh, Mother Miriam skipped the golden years, apparently went right on to the dark ages. But... Um, <laughs> But hey, Harry, I wanted to ask you because I know I know you told me uh, years ago. Uh, it seems like you told me the the significance of the song "Always" and why that's a, uh, such an important song for you. Always, yes, sir. Is uh, it's a favorite song of my wife's and mine. Ah, did is it a song that you danced to? I don't. I don't think we ever did it. <laughs> We we might have. Well, uh, if you, if you dance anything like me, you probably weren't allowed to. But uh, <laughs> uh, but but Harry, I we, I wanted to play that. I remember. I I don't know why I remember it so vividly, but I remember the first time that you requested uh, uh, always when uh, when you started listening to Martini in the morning, and we're always always happy to play uh, uh, to play a song for you. And in fact, I just thought of another one that I know you like, and I'm gonna play. Um, for you here real quick i but we just wanted to call you and th i wanted to thank you personally for uh for all the um for all the kind uh, notes and, and inspiration and encouragement you've been a you you've been a constant source of uh, encouragement for us here at martini in the for all of us and uh uh and, and for me personally and i said it on the air earlier that um you seem to know uh, just the right thing to uh, to say at the at the right moment, and I just wanted to tell you how much we appreciate it, and and how much we we've been blessed by having you as part of our family. Well, I I did receive the uh, the uh, uh, CDs that uh, Mother Mary was sent. I got both of them. Yeah, well, you won one of them fair and square in one of the contest in our Thursday thing <laughs> contest. But I wanted to throw in a copy of the Paul McCartney album because. Yeah, uh, that's such a nice rendition of always. That that uh, rendition by Sir Paul is is without a doubt has surpassed everything that I have ever heard. It's a beautiful, it's a be beautiful recording. Well, I happen to know that that another of your favorite songs we play here on Martini in the Morning dot com is Eva Cassidy's "Over the Rainbow." So, Harry, with that, we'll we'll wish you a happy ninetieth birthday, and it's Eva Cassidy on Martini in the Morning dot com. <laughs> 